So anyway, the object of the game is to save all your fellow Marines from the evil Dr. Hellman. I'm guessing he decided to give up on his mayonnaise empire and move on to raising an army of voodoo zombies for world domination or some shit. Hellman is played by Vincent Schiavelli. You might remember him as the hobo ghost from Ghost who teaches Patrick Swayze how to use his ghost powers. So, you parachute in and get attacked. Here you meet your two companions, Winston, your driver and guide, and Julie, a no-nonsense reporter, looking for the scoop on the zombie-infested island. They're only in the game to move the story along and shuttle your ass to areas filled with zombies that can only be beaten by walking to the right. You walk to the right in a village, a swamp, the beach, old temples, and airports. There's a ton of places you walk to the right, and that's all you fucking do from now until you beat the game or say fuck it and shut it the hell off. On your way, you can collect special bullets. They're required to kill the boss enemies and these weird jack-o'-lantern looking guys. But they barely give you any throughout the game. The first time you get to a place where you actually need to use them, I only had 25, which wasn't enough to do shit. You need to get the special bullets. Without them, you can't beat the boss. But the game doesn't have the courtesy to give them to you, so I just keep getting to the same point and dying over and over. At one point, I start hitting random buttons thinking it might do something, and it did all right. It kicked me out of the fucking level. Hitting the C button stops the game dead in its tracks and kicks you out to this weird menu screen. If they put the option to abort the level in the pause menu, I'd be fine with it. But making it a regular button that you're more likely to hit by accident is just shit. And I know for a fact, it also does this in the Sega CD 32X version. And if you want to confirm, I'm guessing it probably does that in the regular Sega CD version as well. So somebody must have thought it was a good idea. Oh yeah, it was a real good idea. So anyway, I get to this menu and all it does is show you pictures of enemies and other crap. It doesn't give you any useful info or anything, so why even have it? Eventually, I found out how to get back into the game by selecting the map. This is where the game switches things up a bit. You can go back to the main game, but it starts you at the beginning no matter how far you got. This really scraped my scrotum. I hit one fucking button by accident and I'm booted back to square one. If you want, you could actually do some side quests also. Depending on what you choose, you can do missions that get you health power-ups, special ammo, or you can choose to do quests for Winston or Julie. If you help Winston, he just finds a bunch of treasure and talks more shit. That's it. It has absolutely no bearing on the game whatsoever. If you help Julie, you get some backstory into the events in the game. All in all, these quests are just a waste of fucking time. The last thing I want to do when I'm playing a horrible mess of a game is extend the duration of suckery and do unnecessary garbage. So the first level you have to beat is Zombie Town. It's just a giant wall with zombies throwing a bunch of crap at you. It's pretty easy, but you have to play the same exact level like five fucking times throughout the game. After you beat it, you can either choose the village or the swamp. It's the same thing either way. You fight the same four enemies until you walk far enough to the right and the game progresses. Other than the regular zombies, there's these weird shadow guys walking around. They're just lazy palette swaps of the same zombies, just without any color or detail. So if you shoot them while they're dark, you get hurt. You have to wait till they light up, then they kill every zombie on screen. Oh, and about those jack-o'-lantern zombies, they're completely immune to normal bullets. Only the special bullets kill them, but you need to save the special bullets to kill the boss. So, you have a decision to make. Either take a hit and lose life, or use that special, precious ammo. All the zombies look like absolute ass. They slide all over the backgrounds and look like they're hanging by wires, because I'm pretty sure they actually were. Some are wearing whatever clothes they showed up in, and others have shitty Halloween masks on. They look like they just went into the Halloween section of a dollar store and bought up anything they could on November 1st. You eventually make your way inside the fortress, which is filled with a bunch of middle-aged dads in pink shirts. I guess they're zombies, but they look like a bunch of golfers wandering around an ancient temple. Eventually, one of the zombified marines attacks you, and you have to turn them back by using the special ammo. That is, if you have any by this fucking point, because I didn't, I got to this part five times and never had enough ammo to finish it. So I had to abort the level and start all over again. I wasted more time on this than I want to admit. I mean, who wants to go around telling people that they played Corpse Killer for eight hours over their weekend? You sound like a psycho. 
especially if you set it to a random person on the street. So I'm not proud of this, but after getting absolutely nowhere for hours, I had to use cheats. I know, it's fucked up. The 3DO doesn't have a Game Genie, but it does have the Game Guru. There ain't no magic on this console. There wasn't even an infinite ammo code, just one that gives you a lot of bullets. Even cheating on the 3DO sucks balls. Eventually I got up to the boss and changed them back. I gotta say, I really hate this game, but it's kind of hilarious. After you change your buddy back, you hang out with them and drink some shit out of a skull that replenishes your health, and then head back to defend the graveyard. So the graveyard serves as your home base in all this. I mean, that's pretty smart. The heroes decide that the best possible place they could make a home base during a zombie apocalypse is a fucking graveyard! So from here, you run through the village, head to the fortress, fight more jack-o'-lanterns and sad golfing dads, then save another marine, rinse and repeat. That's it. Oh, and every time I go through a cycle of levels, I have to reset, delete my previous save, then go back to the game guru to put the code back in. If Merriam-Webster called asking for the dictionary definition of tedious, I'd say this, this right here. All that shit, just so I can see these Oscar-worthy cutscenes. Apparently, transforming back from a zombie makes you feel like you just jizzed lava into your boxer briefs. After repeating this four fucking times, you finally face off against Mr. Mayonnaise himself, Dr. Hellman. And it's one of the most incredible sights I've ever seen in FMV history. And I say that without an ounce of sarcasm. <laughs> because we are the new order! Oh, good lord! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,